Hey guys, my name is Aaron. Can a $20 security camera really be any good? In this video, we're gonna check out the Wisecam V2 and see. Before getting started, real big thanks out to Wise for setting out the Wisecam V2 for me to share with you guys. If you end up being interested in it at all, check the description box down below for the link to the Wisecam V2 on Amazon and also Wisecam's website. For $20, I think all of our expectations for something regarding a camera would be pretty dampened and we wouldn't really expect anything good, and usually for good reason. However, in this case, I'm happy to say that Wise does not fit into the normal mold that you would expect them to be in. The camera, of course, comes with everything that you would need inside the box, and that includes a power brick, a micro USB cable, a metal disc that has 3M adhesive on the back of it, and then, of course, the camera itself. The camera itself is very small. It comes in at less than 2 inches by 2 inches by 2 inches. And with it having a magnetic base to it, which explains why it comes with a metal disc in the box, you can mount it really anywhere that you want to and put it at any angle you want to, as long as you can run power to it. One of the cool features of the V2 camera is that if you want to mount it somewhere, but you don't have an outlet that's easily you know, available for you to plug in the wall wart, you can actually daisy chain these cameras together. So say you've got another camera that's already hooked up to power somewhere, and you have a male USB type A to male USB type A cable, you can actually plug one camera into another camera, and then you can actually daisy chain off of that other camera and have two additional cameras ran off of one power supply. That's pretty cool, as long as you can figure out a way to hide the really long cables that you're gonna have. It's kind of a problem, but figure, figure that out. It's a pretty cool feature. The initial setup for the V2 camera is super simple and only takes about five minutes once you get the Wisecam app downloaded. Once you have the app downloaded and you create an account, and go through the process to start adding a camera, all it basically does is comes up with a QR code on your screen of your phone. You put that code in front of your camera, the camera reads it, associates it to your account, and then it goes through the firmware upgrade process, and then you're pretty much off to the races. Besides this design, my favorite feature of this camera has to do with the way that it stores footage. Wise Out of the Box gives you 14 days of online cloud storage for free. No cost, for free. Most companies, <coughs> ring. Oh, sorry, I don't know what that was about. We'll charge you to even store any information up in the cloud. So to get 14 days of triggered events, which triggered events include motion or sound, it keeps a 12 second clip for every triggered event. It's pretty awesome and not something that you would really expect from a camera that only costs you $20. The Wisecam V2 also has a micro SD card slot on the bottom of the camera. By inserting the micro SD card, you're able to also save those triggers not only up in the cloud, but also on that SD card directly. When you have an SD card inserted, you can also enable continuous recording mode, which just records everything that the camera sees regardless of there being a triggered event or not. I have a 32 gig micro SD card inside of my V2 right now, and I've also got it set to continuous recording. So with it being a 1080p continuous, I can fit four days of continuous recording on the SD card before it fills up and it starts dropping off older footage. If you were to drop that down to a standard definition, I'm not quite sure how much extra information you could fit on the card. I'm sure you could probably expand that up to a week, maybe longer, but for me, HD is what I wanted to keep it on and so that's my experience. Not only can you access past recordings on the Wisecam V2, you can actually access the live feed on the camera at any time and actually have a conversation with whomever or whatever you see on the camera via the two-way audio system. What I use the Wisecam V2 for is I use it for motion notifications in our garage. So our garage has a door to the outside, so I have the camera pointed at that door. The only downside for me is that that door is also right next to the door from our house and going into our garage. So anytime we go to get into the car, take trash out to the garage or get into the freezer or whatever, I'm getting notified of it, which I don't really care about. However, it's nice to have it because that's the whole point. I've never not gotten a notification though when I've expected it. And that was the main point that I wanted to make was that I've always been able to count on the notifications from the Wise Cam when I know that they should be coming. So I can trust those notifications to continue to come if it's a case when we're actually not home and someone were to try to get in. Quick side note, depending upon where you put the camera at, you may need to tinker with the notification sensitivity level. With mine being in the garage, we get mosquitoes, flies, just normal summertime bugs that were also setting off the camera at two, three, four o'clock in the morning and initially were scaring the crap out of me because I thought someone was trying to get in and really it was just a bug that flew in front of the screen. I've turned that sensitivity down 
keep that in mind. You may get more notifications than you want. You may not be getting enough. Tinker with the sensitivity scale and you should find a happy medium. Other features of the Wise Cam V2 include night vision and smart sound recognition. With us keeping this camera in the garage, it of course gets very dark in there, so night vision is actually being used more so than it's not being used. And it does a great job. I had to go, of course, change the camera a little bit to make sure that it wasn't pointed too close to the wall so that the IR blasters weren't blasting off the wall and kind of white, whiting out the image. But once I got that honed in, I can see the inside of my garage just like that garage door was wide open and it's the middle of the summer. It does a phenomenal job of illuminating wherever you put it at night. The smart sound recognition is super slick and it can be specifically configured to listen for smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, or it can just listen for normal sound events, which is just using the microphone on the camera itself. The uses for this camera are seriously endless. You can set it up as a puppy cam, a baby monitor, a, a security camera, obviously. You can use it to record time lapses. Like seriously, for $20, the value of this thing is insane. Just recently, the Wise Camera V2 was given Amazon Alexa support. By enabling this skill, you're able to look at the live camera feed, not only in the Wise Camera app, but now you can do it on the Amazon Echo Shows, on the Echo Spots, and also on Amazon Fire TVs, just by using your voice. For $20, I am super impressed with the value and then also the quality of the product that Wise is providing. Not only is their product awesome, but their product support is some of the best that I've ever seen. They're actually based here in the States, so their support, I believe, is out in Washington. So they're very receptive to Twitter messages or to being you know, added on Twitter or even Facebook for that matter. They're there to help you have the best experience with their product. And to see that with a US-based company is super refreshing and a big win in my book for Wise. With all that being said, I highly suggest that you pick up at least one of the Wise Cam V2s, if not more. I've already got the one and I plan on picking up at least one or two more for use around my house. If this video was helpful to you at all, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'll love to help you out any way that I can. If you want to see more consumer related tech reviews on tech that I use and enjoy, I think you will too, hit that subscribe button. But until the next one, this is Aaron, take care.